Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day and today is Friday the 30th and today was a lovely beautiful day to be alive. Got this morning, uh, fairly normal time I guess, nothing major uh, going on. Dog let me sleep in decently which is always nice and got up, got a few things done. Wife got off to work and I was just kind of hanging out with the dogs outside, just kind of chilling out taking it easy and then went ahead and got a couple other things around the house done. Had a dog getting dropped off this morning. He got dropped off fairly early, went fairly smoothly. Had a meet and greet also scheduled that um, was gonna happen. I'd reached out to him and said, hey, I know you're wanting to drop off about this time frame, but I got a meet and greet scheduled for this morning. Would you let drop off before or after? And they said before, I was hoping they'd say after, but they said before, so it's all good. Uh, they came, dropped the dog off, went fine. Uh, the dog that I had and that one are getting long splendid, so there's no issue there for the meet and greet. So I had the meet and greet go through, and then I texted their people to bring their dogs over whenever they wanted to, and got them dropped off. Signed up getting three dogs dropped off. Yeah, three dogs dropped off in the morning, and then uh, basically hung around for the day. The dogs all got long and splendid. Everybody was having fun, having a good time, and one of the dogs they dropped off to me, uh, I guess last time he was here, he was playing with one of their dogs and they were playing rough and a lot. And I'd sent her videos and stuff, the dogs playing that. And apparently in the process of them, I don't know if it was jumping over the bushes or the dogs just scratching each other. I'm not sure which, but I guess his belly got pretty scraped up. And she kind of, she acknowledged, she was like, ah, it happens to their dogs and stuff, but she wanted me to keep an eye on it. So, and we'll see this. So far, the dogs I have right now, they're not playing nearly as rough. So not much to be concerned about with that, but it is what it is there. So that was kind of in the back of my head of like, oh, I wish I'd done that before you dropped the dog off. It would have been nice to see the, the pictures and stuff, of what shape it was in and whatnot. So, but it is what it is. So went ahead, got a couple other things done. Uh, was basically waiting around. I had another meet and greet. I'd asked my wife if she could be home by six today because I had a meet and greet at six and wanted to have her here with the dogs because a lot of the dogs, I've had all these dogs prior to. I've watched them all before, but not all together. And I wasn't sure how rambunctious they were going to be. And they can make the meet and greets go oddly if you have a lot of stuff going on. Then we have 4th of July coming up. So a lot of people are going to be shooting off fireworks. I didn't want to have to worry about Fireworks going off and stress the dogs out and whatnot. I said, absolutely. I reached out in the middle of the day. I was like, hey, the dogs are doing splendid. There's no concerns at all here. If you want to work late, if you need to work late, feel free to. I've got this covered for the meet and greet. Won't be a problem. So she was not still planning coming home. I'm like, okay, whatever works for you. So went ahead, went out, got my run in, got back, got myself a nice shower. And uh, wife got home from work shortly after that. From there, um, the meet and greet happened, which was fine. And then got done with meet and greet, meet and greet went a little longer than normal. We were just kind of laughing and joking, having a good time and talking about all kinds of weird stuff. The dogs were doing pretty well. They were, they settled in there. One dog was a little more skittish around Bruce, not used to the bigger dogs kind of thing. And the old dog didn't give a damn at all Bruce was there. The old dogs wanted to be outside playing with other puppies and couldn't. So it was a little bit upset about that. It was Skip trying to go out the door, kept trying to scratch the door and stuff. So it was kind of funny. But um, went ahead from there, they left finally. Um, actually, fireworks started going off. So I heard the fireworks, I'm like, oh, I gotta go outside because the dog's gonna stress out any minute. So my wife saw the people out with their dogs. I headed outside with the dogs, played with them for a little bit. And then a few minutes later, had the last dog of the day getting dropped off. So I had four new dogs dropped off today and basically got that figured out. Got all the food and stuff in, everything all good to go there. And the one they brought in was a boxer pup. Probably like a year old or so now probably but he is very stubborn and kind of bullheaded and insanely excitable still pees when he, when he meets me like he's so excited so i just got to meet him outside in the driveway and like in the yard and really getting wound up out there so he can get the pee out because he's just so excited he pees all over the damn sidewalk in the driveway and whatever so definitely um yeah that's kind of annoying but it is what it is so we got outside um introduce him to stuff and whatnot and he decided he was going to try and be dominant over one of the other big males there and the big male wasn't having it so it kind of got a little bit sideways for a minute but wasn't too bad a little bit of distraction a little bit of separation a little bit of whatnot sent the bigger one back inside for a minute let the little one get his energy ran out and let him kind of calm down a little bit brought him back out and they've been fine ever since but 
kind of is what it is. The older, the bigger dog is a little grumpier this time. Normally he takes a little better to young, dumb pup energy than this. But everybody's got a different attitude because when he's hot, who knows. But he's a little bit ornery with that. So keeping him, keeping a little closer eye on him. But after that, we ended up having leftovers and had ourselves a nice little dinner. Mom ate earlier. Karen and I ate, watched a little bit of Seinfeld, headed back outside the dogs, the fire was going off, and we had some that wouldn't be inside. TV cranked up, other ones wanted to be outside. It wasn't a lot of fireworks going on, but for the Friday on the, you know, the 30th, so we're five days of fireworks, is gonna be a lot, so kinda is what it is there, but yeah. From there, um, finally wrapped it up for the evening, headed back inside, and got the dogs figured out who was gonna kinda sleep where, I guess, in the house and all that good fun stuff. So every got fine. find took a while to get that boxer to sell down. He just, he doesn't sell down very well. He just, he's constantly going and I had to keep him in the bedroom with us because I don't trust him just not to torment the other dogs that might not go well. They're out of the living room. I won't be able to break it up as quickly. So he was in the bedroom with us. It's like three of them, four of them, I think it's four of them in there. And Bruce and Bistro out in the living room. So they were out there and the rest of them were in that bedroom with us. And one likes to be underneath the bed. He just went there and hung out underneath the bed, which is where he likes to be even in the day. If he gets overwhelmed, he'll just go hide under the bed and just kind of relax and chill himself out, which is really good. So, but yeah, that's pretty much what we had. And that's all we got for now. And we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.